going on, everyone? Scotty White, World Combat Sports, one and only Abiel, the Nightmare Velasquez. How you doing, man? Good, good, man. Great. Hey, man. It's Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. This is what fight for you? Third, this is my third one. This is your third one, so you're becoming a veteran here. Yeah. You know, tell us how you feel. How is training camp coming off your last fight? Uh, I feel great. Um, my last fight, my last camp, you know, I mean, my camp has been, been really good. You know, I worked everything that I've been, uh, you know, that my last fight was a little bit slacking on or so, but like this time I'm all in and pretty much train everything that I need, you know, work my angles, work my cardio, work everything, you know. I didn't touch weights because that, that kind of make me, that kind of offset me a little bit. So I'm just going to go out there and just bang it out, man. That's how I do. What was something, you mentioned about changing something from your last fight. You know, you lost your last fight, but what did you take from that transition over to this fight? I wasn't as fast as I am, you know, I, like I, I wasn't moving as I as I am and when I fought John, John West and, you know, that kind of like cut me off a little bit, you know, and that's my game, that's my go-to, you know, I'm fast and speed and people can't catch me when I'm, you know, when I'm always moving and everything, they always want to sit, 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 sit there real quick and, you know, get me, but that's not going to happen and that's what this fight is, you know, I've been training a lot in cardio, my hands been moving and I feel great, uh, I feel, feel good at 135, I didn't have to cut nothing, so... Speed was your game. You're going in there against somebody who's going to be in your face. I'm pretty sure you're going to be in his face. What are you going to take from this fight? What is, um, you know, one of his strengths that you oh, see in your opponent? I mean, I saw a couple of his fights. You know, he likes to he likes to come in and just charge in. You know, always come, always go forward and everything. Try to you know not trying to get that power punch in and set you up for it. But you know, that's not going to be me. I'm going to just you know move and stick and move, sidestep and everything. You know, he's pretty much going to he's going to see it, the new app, the new nightmare. Absolutely. Tell them what the nightmare means, man. For those fight fans that may not know, tell them what the nightmare stands for the for you. Nightmare means, man, I'm just coming for you and pretty much just getting you frustrated. And, you know, if you sleep, you know, you might get a nightmare and think of me. Um, you know, and it's, it's just going gonna, gonna to be a, a, a hectic day for him. You know, it's, every day it's going to be something. And, you know, that fight, when it comes, every time I'm hitting him, he's going to get frustrated. It's pretty much a nightmare because he doesn't know where my punches are at. And I'm always hitting him with different angles. For those of you that's tuning in, Abiel also is a mixed martial artist too. You know, he cross-thread combat sports discipline. So bare knuckle fighting is not the only combat sports that you would see him in. Yeah. Any final words to your fight fans heading into this war tomorrow there? Yeah, no, I got, I got, a, lot, I got a lot of fans that are coming out, 140 plus people. And, you know, I was surprised. Um, you know, my hometown is in Tampa, Florida, so I'm excited. I, you know, you know, just check me out, guys. You know, it's going to be a fun, one fine fight. I'm going to give it, you know me, I can always give a show, so don't be surprised. Hey, salute to you. Best wishes going in there, Abdurrell, the Nightmare um, Velasquez. And we hope to see you get that victory. And one last thought for your fight fans out there. What do you take most from stepping in there in the square circle? I yeah. mean, bare knuckle fighting, what is different between mixed martial arts? You know, besides the gloves and everything, what do you take different from this sport? You see a lot of people wanting it, you know. It's, uh, it's more deep, it's like more more different, you know. People got a lot of heart, you know. People don't want to do this, don't want to talk about their face, but, you know, it's, sorry, my language, but, um, you know, it's, a box, it's the same as boxing and, and uh, MMA. You're going in there and you're going you're gonna to get beat up. So it's like, what's so different when you have a, you know, your gloves taken off? Yeah, it's all bare knuckle, but when you get hit, that's where it is. You know, that's where it comes in. That's where if you could take a hit, you got the heart to keep going. And, you know, you just got to bang it out. You know, it's got to rough it up. And it's just like street fight, but more legal. You know? <laughs> hey, you said the most, you got to have heart and you have heart. And I'm going to see you go in there and get that victory, man. Thank and you. best wishes to you and your team going in there. Salute from World Combat Sports. Thank you. Hey, Adel, congrats, congrats. <laughs> hey, man, what a war in there, man. It was good to see you fight for the first time. Thank you. You know, I see you get some stitches, but it was a, it was a lot less than what I thought, man, you going in there against that opponent. How did it feel for you? What's your assessment? My assessment, man, like, I came in there focused. My game plan was pretty much just getting frustrated, move, stick and move. That was my game plan for him because, you know. He Great footwork. Thank you. Great footwork, man. You know, he was talking a lot of smack, you know, in the previous, you know, saying he's going to knock me out and all that. But, you know, I came in ready, you know. He, he was not ready to bang with me. I stick and move. He was getting frustrated, and that was the game plan. You know, he was not faster than me, and that was the, that's what I know of. He's, nobody's faster than me, man. So what did you change up about your boxing, man? Because you was using your ring generalship nice. And then when you wanted to close the distance, you did, landing your punches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, last fight, I didn't do what I that I did uh, this fight. Uh, but now, like, I came back and, you know, improved a little bit. You know, I did a lot more cardio, a lot more movement. You know, a lot of speed and move, a lot of hand movement. You oh, know? yeah. I let my hands go and let it let it happen, you know. I got caught a couple of times, but it happens. You know, you got to feel it and 
make everything work. But you know, I, I tried to win all three, all five rounds, and I did. And I, oh yeah. And I got him really frustrated. He couldn't really get me. All, all he was doing is one, one, two all the time. So it, it was pretty much uh, you could see it all the time it happening. So it, it is what it is. And I, you know, I got the win. I did some, you know, thirty punching and all that stuff. But it was fun. I loved it, and I'm happy to get this win at hometown, baby. Let's talk about the energy, man. Your your family's here, bro. How does that feel having all the relatives on deck? And you get the victory where you did, yeah. man. No, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Uh, you know, I'm happy for, the, for my family and my friends, everybody that came out and support me. Uh, you know, it was a big crowd and it was a big, it was a big cheer. You know, and I loved it. I soaked it in. I took it as an energy. I took it as focus, and I, I let it out in the cage. I let it out in the ring. You know, and make it make it work. You know, and, and show these, you know, show my fans that you know they came here for for a reason. You know. And, hey, congrats to the victory. Thanks for tuning in to World Combat Sports. Salute. Yeah. And look forward to the next one. Hell yeah, next one, man. I'm going for that. T I'm wanting that title. I want that title or whoever it is, Gene here, Gene Herrera, somewhere, whoever it is. I need somebody. You hear from the one and only Abdiel, the Nightmare Velasquez, man. Salute and congratulations.